Hello, Namaskar. This is First Post and you're watching Vantage with me, Palki Sharma. Prime Minister Modi is in Australia. Yesterday was all about the outreach to the Indian community, the optics and the colour. Today was about the conversations, the meetings and the deals. A lot of ground was covered. What stood out was India's push on Khalistani terror. The Indian leader asked his Australian counterpart to get cracking and was given an assurance that everything possible will be done. Tonight on Vantage, as we bring you the highlights of the talks, we'll discuss how big Australia's Khalistan problem is and why India is taking it up with such urgency. Meanwhile, in Ukraine, President Zelensky may be playing the Islamic card to make inroads into West Asia. We'll explain. In the US, the Pentagon has lost more than a million spare parts of the F-35 fighter jet and they don't have an explanation. In Kenya, Chinese hackers are targeting the government. We'll tell you why. In Faroe Islands, whale slaughter has triggered an old debate. In Spain, football racism has finally led to arrests after the Brazilian president complained. And if you're feeling blue, experts have a green solution. We'll tell you about it. The headlines first. Will Bakhmut now be known by its Soviet name, Artemovsk? That's the claim made by a Russian-backed official the Wagner Group says it fully controls this Ukrainian city and will hand it over to the Russian army by June. Kiev disputes this. Will Pakistan ban Imran Khan's party? Shehbaz Sharif's government is mulling it. Defence Minister Khwaja Asif says the attack on military buildings by Imran Khan's supporters was pre-planned and that's grounds to consider banning the PTI. In India, the Modi government and the opposition face off over the new parliament. 19 opposition parties, including the Congress, will boycott the opening of the new building on Sunday. The opposition is angry that Prime Minister Modi will be inaugurating the new parliament and not the President of India. The UK Prime Minister rules out an ethics probe for Home Secretary Suela Braverman. Rishi Sunak says Braverman's handling of a speeding offence did not breach rules. She was caught speeding last year. And 50 million people are trapped in modern slavery. North Korea, Eritrea and Mauritania are the worst offenders. 28 million people are in forced labour and 22 million in a forced marriage. These are the findings of the 2023 Global Slavery Index. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate, but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defence minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. The UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power, like a partner and not a former colonist. 